What's going on, constituents? It has been a long week for me. The last five videos that I have recorded have been extremely difficult, thought-provoking, and uh, trauma-inducing videos. And so I have grown a little tired of having this conversation, not just on my channel, but also across all social media platforms. So I wanna take a break from the front lines for a second. And I want to just talk to you guys about some other stuff and what you guys wanna see from my channel and what else you wanna see me get into. So let's wrap for a second real quick. to learn from my lessons but do i get it yet i want to set an example but i'm not sure i didn't handle all my demons i'm thinking that i should court a vet i fight for all respect i'm working overtime to keep up my head i understand i'll get the love when i'm dead so my focus is red choose the black i'd almost keep me chosen i've been the token now the back is ahead on my sofa i'm chucking showing out Greetings, constituents. Welcome to another racism-free day here in Georgia, Carolina. I am your local congresswoman, Jordan Renee, and I'm happy to have you back for another town hall meeting. If you're new here and you're touring our community, thank you so much, and I hope you take up some more permanent real estate. What's going on, you guys? We have had a long week here in Georgia, Carolina. We have been on the front lines. We have been protesting. We have been all over the grid talking about the racial insensitivities and the blatant down and out racism that has been going on and that has been displayed across Bravo over the past week or two. And I'm realizing that my channel is becoming a racism rant channel really quick. And so I want to just take a step back and I want to just have a pleasant conversation with you guys about something other than being an advocate, being an activist and really speaking about speaking out about conversations that should be obvious statements and not full-on debates okay um there has been a couple videos that i have been wanting to record for the past couple days and i'm gonna record those videos at some point they're why you should watch videos and basically the concept of that is me taking my favorite movies and me basically dissecting them and kind of talking about why I feel like those movies are amazing and why I feel like you should watch them. And I want to just kind of take a second to um, talk about why those movies have impacted me, why those movies have changed my life in some way, or why I feel like everybody needs to see those films. So I'm going to try to create a little series around that and just kind of talk about some entertainment that has positively touched my life or has greatly impacted and inspired me to do better, find myself, be a better person, whatever have you. And, you know, just get to know me in a different kind of way really, because I think that the movies that I want to talk about are all movies that have impacted me personally and impacted me emotionally and have impacted my growth as a person. So the movies are going to, and my analysis of the movies are really going to kind of give you not just a look into these films and into these wonderful creations, but it's also going to give you a look into my psyche a little bit and kind of tell you a little bit more about me as a person, because the reason that I love these movies are very personal and they affect me in these personal ways that I don't really talk about publicly very much and so you're gonna hear me talk about my feelings a little bit and not just my feelings on racism <laughs> but um yeah I wanted to come on and just get a little um opinion from you guys about some things that you would want to see me talk about or some entertainment that you would want me to engage in to have a conversation about something you feel like I would benefit from. You know, while I appreciate just regular shows that are entertaining and fun to watch, and I, 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 I do also want to be moved and I do want to be inspired and impacted by the content that I'm watching. So I would like for your suggestions to be something that can add to, you know, personal growth or, you know, just self-evaluation, self-reflection, being a better version of yourself, all of those things. But if it's just something fun that you want me to check out or 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 just a subject that you want me to talk about, that's perfectly fine too. Um, 
I'm open to a lot of different things and a lot of different avenues that this channel can go in because if you watch my apology video, I believe it is, I have a long list at the very end of videos that I want to make, right? But I also want to switch up the vibe on this channel and not just be a racism channel or not just a self-help channel or not just a reality TV channel. I want to really talk about the full scope of my interests and the things that move me or that I'm passionate about or that interest me. I want to take time to dive into all of the positive things in my life as well instead of just coming on here to be an advocate and be an activist while that type of content gives me my most pride i definitely take my most pride in doing those types of videos where i talk about racism racial insensitivity things that people go through that we all relate to that shouldn't be happening or you know whatever the case may be racism mental health all of those things and i get my most pride from talking about those things but emotionally it can be a weight emotionally it can be a lot to carry because not only do i come on camera say what i have to say leave it in the video upload it and walk away i also engage in further conversations about these subjects offline off camera in the dms in the comments all of those things i talk about the things that I talk about in my videos across media. Um, and so sometimes when we're having really pressing conversations or we're having really impactful conversations, it can become heavy for me to carry because a lot of the situations or just about all of the situations so far, especially since my return with the Agender video, with the Elf Marsh video and things like that, I've been talking about my direct experiences. I've been talking about things that are directly affecting me and things that I'm going through. So having to analyze my own life as well as lay it out here for the public and then go across my social media platforms and have more intense discussions with different types of people about it on top of doing these racism advocacy videos and going and debating and arguing with people who don't agree with anti-racism it becomes a lot sometimes so sometimes i want to just have fun sometimes i just want to kick it sometimes i want to just come on here and laugh and talk shit and kiki with you guys right I'm not necessarily in a position to do lives again right now because I just want to come on, create the content and walk away from it for a little bit. And I want to get in a better position to curate conversation, right? I think when I was doing my lives the last time, I wanted to make sure that the people who I brought onto my lives were heard and heard in totality. And so that allowed me to not necessarily have the best structure for my lives and so they would end up being these three four hour lives that mind you i'm proud of because the conversations were real and they were emotional and they were impactful and they were you know genuine moments that were shared between me and the people who called in but i want to have a more direct and what's the word i'm looking for um compact conversation because if I'm going to curate conversation for people to express themselves, I want them to get out their points, but I also want to get to as many of the people who want to call in, as many topics, and try to make the content as well-rounded as well as direct as possible, right? So I'm figuring out better ways to do that and I'm figuring out the best ways to go about those situations. But I wanted to just kind of come on and talk to you guys because we've been having some really engaging dialogue in the comments and a lot of you guys follow me on social media. If you don't follow me on social media, you guys can hit me specifically on Twitter and Instagram, but you can also hit me on TikTok at Georgia Carolina. That's J-O-R-J-A. Carolina spelt like the states both of them and you can catch me on snapchat at Jordan Renee J-O-R-D-E-N-R-A-N-A-E 
think I got that right. J-O-R-D-E-N-R-A-N-A-E. Sorry. I thought I said the E and then I realized I didn't. But anyway, um, what do you guys want me to talk about? What else? Have there been things that have been going on in your life that maybe you just want to get my take on? Have there been things that you haven't seen me cover on my channel or you haven't seen me mention on my channel that maybe you want to see me talk about or would like to hear me discuss? Have there been things that I've been missing that maybe you think I should be seeing and that I should be discussing? Drop all of those things in the comments. Hit me on my social media. Um, I try to respond and... I at least react to every single comment. If I don't respond, and I'm specifically talking about my YouTube channel, but if I don't respond with an actual physical comment, I do react to every single comment to let you know that I read it, right? So I will see it. I will be here talking to you guys. I will respond. Even if I don't respond immediately, I will go back and look at those comments and I will respond because the way that I have my YouTube studio set up, I. I have my comment section set up to show me the comments that I haven't responded to first. So I am going to see your comments. Let me know. Hit me up and tell me, you know, what do you want to see me talk about? Is there anything specific that you feel like I should be talking about? Do you have any movies or television shows that you would like me to talk about and have sort of an analytical um, conversation about? Hit me up. I'm here, I'm open, I'm willing to talk about just about everything. Are there any subjects you want me to speak about specifically, whether it be sex, relationships, being transgender, being agender? Um, I have a video on pronouns coming soon that I need to record, but that's coming either this week or next week. So, you know, if there's anything, you know, if you want me to do story times, hit me up and let me know what stories you would want me to tell. Um... I have a long history of different forms of entertainment. And if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you guys know that I have a history as a professional dancer, as a choreographer, as a drag queen. I used to be a stripper. Um, I've done a lot of different things in my life. And I've had a YouTube channel previously to this one where I specifically spoke about what the difficulties were or what life was like being black and also being queer while living in America. And that also turned into a podcast called Essays with Essay, an essay being my old drag name, Shantae Arnett. But um, so I have a lot of, you know, past lives, as I like to say. I've, you know, been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I've spoken about a lot. But if there's anything that you guys want to hear me talk about specifically, stories you want me to tell, movies you want me to watch, just hit me up and let me know. Because I want to have more fun conversations with you guys to balance out the seriousness. I'm not going to take away from my serious content in lieu of doing more fun content. I just want to add to the repertoire of content that I'm creating. And I want to have different scales and different levels of things that I talk about. Um, I want to have different levels of intensity, different levels of emotion. I want to have different ranges of emotion when it comes to things that I talk about. So with that being said, Thank you guys so much for coming back to another town hall meeting here in Georgia, Carolina. I am your local congresswoman, Jordan Renee, and I appreciate every single one of you for being here and tuning into this video. If you like the video, like the video. Please share, subscribe, and do all of the youtube -y things that your favorite content creators tell you to do on their channels. And with that being said, I'll holler at y'all later. I'm finna go find me something to eat. I'm hungry. Peace.